From new dragons to Poposaurus and final news for the Divine Beast Dinosuchus and Absentia Acrocanthosaurus. This is this week's Path of Titans modded news, so strap yourselves in and let's get right to it. I'm starting off by saying I was right. Literally, in my last video for Path of Titans mods, if you haven't checked it out, we talked about some dolphins, we talked about Psittacosaurus some more, and then we talked about a mystery dinosaur or creature for the Primordial Tyrants team, which they teased. In that video, I said it was most likely going to be Poposaurus, because its model was in development, and the tail kind of fit in line with the standard Poposaurus tail and all that jazz. And it looks like now, it has been confirmed. This model was Poposaurus and it's been released as a fully textured and updated model by the Primordial Tyrants team and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now do bear in mind this is a mod that has been confirmed but it will not be coming anytime soon. But Kelskora did want to show it off by just basically going well this model's done and the rig is done but you won't be seeing it for a little while. I gotta say though however I love the detailing on it. The tail, the face, everything about it is absolutely Absolutely incredible. Poposaurus is one of my favourite pseudosuchians as it's one of them weird creations from the Triassic that just existed. And like no one asked for it to just happen but it was like hi I'm here now and uh, you're gonna have to put up with me for a little bit and that's literally Poposaurus. It looks great it's just like a crocodile that is kind of built like a dinosaur but it obviously isn't. <laughs> I don't know it's hard to explain what this geezer is. I love the model of it. I can't wait to see this one in game and it's definitely going to be one of those ones that I will probably love to try and main um, just because of how it is like it, it's going to be a small creature like a 2-3 slot maybe a 2 slot more likely but it's going to fit into the roster nicely that being said I do want to say this guy has some big feet so for you people you, you, you fiends out there who love toes and feet you foot fetish freaks this one's one for you. I mean, zoom in on those toes because, my God, you'll be having a field day with those long toes. Dominus is an upcoming dragon from the XR Giller team. This has been made by Rospaw, who you may know and love, who made the Smilodon, the Mammoth, and, of course, the Draco Viper. This thing looks absolutely menacing, and it's essentially building off the success that Draco Viper was and what... Ros Paul learnt from the Draco Viper, which is probably the first ever dragon to come to the game. This will likely be the second dragon to ever come to the game, and this thing looks absolutely awesome. It looks menacing. It looks like a brute, so to say. This one looks like it's going to be bigger and stronger than the Draco Viper. I love the model for this one. I actually preferred this one over the Draco Viper. It honestly seems like it's more like a brute, more of a barbarian, so to say, more than anything. Like, it, it looks like it's gonna cause carnage, and it looks like that's what it's here to do, cause carnage. Speaking of barbarian-like dinosaurs, however, Exar Gila have been cooking up some more, and these are creatures that they have teased recently, the Rex and Spino versions that are Imperius and Leviathan Leviathan, and we're going to talk about them right now because these things look mean. So we have three teaser images for these. You've got the Imperius Rex or Imperius Rex and there's the Leviathan which is a Spinosaurus. These things are basically heavily mutated versions of the Rex in game and the Spino in game and it looks really cool. Like these things look incredibly interesting and remind me of the Chaos Triceratops and the Chaos Spinosaurus which we actually haven't seen for a while. We knew that the Chaos Spinosaurus was in development then it just kind of disappeared. So hopefully we get to see that thing again because I'm actually intrigued about it. What happened to the Chaos Spinosaurus? Does anyone no? Do let me know in the comments because I'd love to know. Now, the Leviathan has a huge amount of appendages from the huge spiky tadpole-like tail to the extremely rough and jagged spinal sail as well and more stuff on the neck, whether it's on the upper part of the neck or lower part of the neck. There's actually a lot here and it's definitely quite interesting and this thing is quite big as well. I wonder in terms of size, is it going to be bigger than the, uh, than the Spino in game? Is it going to be taller? 
or is it going to be the same size just heavily mutated and for the rex we actually do get some stuff as well this thing has huge amounts of spikes running along the body it's got some big horns coming from the head and it actually has some armor around its eyes kind of protecting them a little bit but other than that the models seem like they are either completely new or these are models that are built off the uh, official models i'm not too sure i can't properly tell but there is substantial differences it's likely that these are probably models that are the same as the ones in the game but just heavily modified much like chaos triceratops was a heavily modified eo triceratops and then chaos spinosaurus was going to be a heavily modified spinosaurus however these are very interesting. I'd love to see these in game. I do like model tweaks when it comes to stuff like if it's just a mod where it's model tweaks and make it more badass, so to say, like it's great. That's all you need to do in most cases. But yeah, I'm very excited for this stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Were you more excited for Imperious Rex or Leviathan? Do you think they'll release at the same time? Let me know. But it's likely we probably won't see much of these for a little while now because, well, there's many things that these mods have showcase like the spider and stuff like that 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 are not uh, really properly shown off since they've been talked about but yeah let me know what you think the Divine Beast, Dinosuchus, is likely to be one of the next upcoming mods for the game. In fact, this is highly likely to be the next Divine Beast mod to come to the game. The reason why I'm saying this is because, well, if you look at the Trello board for the Divine Beast page, you can see the only thing that's left for this mod is the dev kit implementation. In terms of everything that's been done for it so far, the model, the sounds, the animation, the skins, all that has been done for it. The last thing, the fifth thing, or the sixth thing actually that needs completing is dev kit implementation and then testing probably and then it's ready to go you know which will be pretty cool but we do have some things to talk about regarding this mod uh, firstly the size of this thing it's huge compare it to Sarko and like showcase them together this thing is massive it's a absolute leviathan it's it's a behemoth of a crocodile and this thing is going to be a menace in the game but also there was a little teaser of it grabbing a dasplitosaurus which kind of showcases its size i do wonder what the maximum combat weight of this thing will be for what it's able to grab like imagine if this thing's able to grab a rex or a, maybe not a spino but maybe like an iguanodon or something like that the waters will never be safe again like that, that will be terrifying but that being said secondly yeah I, i've confirmed it already this thing will get a grab however this mod further enhances what the grab is in game and they said that they are basically building this themselves from the ground up so to say where they just worked on bettering grab and this is going to be a lunge based grab very similar to what the uh, the isles dino Sucus has so yeah if you want a comparison there you look at it that way and thirdly you're able to carry things so yes you'll have your grab your lunge based grab as well but you'll be able to fit pick things up and carry them like babies like this image it showcases a baby in the jaws of the dinosuchus and it's absolutely adorable of course there's more about this mod than i've talked about here but it's one of those things where we'll probably find out all of that stuff when it releases and it's likely that this thing will release within the next month or so depending on how well testing goes dev kit implementation and all that jazz so obviously we have to wait and see there it looks like it's highly likely that this thing's going through testing in the near future not yet I don't know if it's planned to go through it anytime soon. It just looks like that looking at the Trello board. So when do you think this thing will release? Let me know in the comments and uh, let's see who's the closest to being right. And on a final note, there is actually another mod that is getting closer and closer to release. And this was talked about by the actual creators of the mod. And this is the Absentia Acrocanthosaurus, a mod that we all cannot wait for. An Acrocanthosaurus mod that we all cannot wait for. This thing is going to be awesome. And we do have some skins to showcase. So firstly, we've got the skin which was showcased by, or oh, was made by Silent Cicada. I don't know how to say that. But uh, this is the Adiron Dak skin for the Acrocanthosaurus. Camphosaurus and it's seemingly inspired by mountains by the way they explained it like it's more in mountains and forests like it seems like this is something that is a mountainous base skin but this is really nice the patterns on this one are gorgeous you've got stripes mainly that go along the body then ones that stay to the neck and the lower or the upper back and the head and then uh, more muted ones as well this thing looks great i actually really like this one it's a very subtle 
color base as well like it's very unsaturated so it makes this one look very um very just nice like natural so looking and it's great but we do have one last thing and this is a comment by the dev team which kind of showcases a teaser video as well which i'll be showcasing straight after i've talked about the absentia acrocanthosaurus but this was the comment that came with it happy acrocanthosaurus appreciation day yes that's an actual real thing. We're nearing the home stretch of development for our high spined lizard and we can't wait until it's all finally in your hands. Thank you so much for your patience in our mod project. We look forward to its release soon. Enjoy the sneak peek of something we have cooked up. I'm very excited for this one. So it looks like as the developers of this mod have said, we're getting closer and closer to the release of this mod. Like it's almost in the home stretch and that's a great thing to hear. Now. I don't know how long it's going to take when it's in the home stretch, but it may take some time. It may be released before the end of the year. Who knows? I don't really know when we'll see it, but when do you think it will come? I want to see once again, when when do you think this one will come? That's several questions now. We've got one for Dinosuchus, we've got one for the Rex and, in, and Leviathan, and then we've got one for the Absentia Acro. I'd love to know actually which are your answers to all three of them. But now let's showcase this teaser. Let me know what you think, and we'll probably just go straight into an outro from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts about all these mods. I'll see you all in the next one. But enjoy this teaser. <laughs>